Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to take you through how to outline the nucleophilic addition mechanism for reacting aldehydes or ketones with NABH4 aqueous or acidified sodium cyanide. Let's get started. We're going to start off with the mechanism for the aldehydes and ketones with sodium tetrahydridoborate, where the nucleophile here is the H-. Now that's from the NABH4 aqueous, remember. The bond in an aldehyde or a ketone functional group, that's the C double bond O, is polar. And so as a result, the carbon atom can be attacked by our nucleophile that I've demonstrated here with the movement of the lone pair from the hydride ion to that carbon with a delta positive charge. To avoid the carbon having too many bonds, we then break one of the bonds tetralytically at the top onto the oxygen. Now, when I'm then assembling my intermediate, the original R and H group are unchanged, so leave them alone. And we've got a new H now attached to the bottom, which is from the nucleophile attacking. The oxygen picked up electrons from the double bond, and it's now only got a single bond to the carbon. We now show a lone pair and a negative charge on this oxygen, and we're going to use this oxygen to pick up our next hydrogen atom. We pick up the hydrogen atom from a molecule of water that's nearby after we put on those polar bonds, like so. And you can see here now the lone pair from the oxygen reaches out to the hydrogen and the hydrogen then lets go from the water molecule and we break another bond here, pushing the electrons onto the oxygen. What we've then created at that oxygen group on our original organic molecule is our alcohol group, which I'll now show inside the products. This is actually a primary alcohol that we've created because we started from an aldehyde. If I started from a ketone, I'd have a secondary alcohol at this point. The other product that sometimes lots of people forget is actually from this OH part of the water molecule. It's an OH minus, because remember, electrons went from the bond with the hydrogen and the oxygen onto that oxygen atom. The second example of the nucleophilic addition mechanism that I want to show you is when aldehydes and ketones react with acidified potassium cyanide. This provides us with a CN minus nucleophile, and you can see here the negative charge and lone pair are shown on the carbon, and then this lone pair attacks the delta positive carbon in the C double bond O group. Same as last time, we then move electrons from the bond onto the oxygen, breaking part of that group heterolytically. Our intermediate setup is then pretty much the same as last time. The pre-existing R or H group, if it was an aldehyde, is absolutely the same as it was before, so leave them alone. However, now at the bottom of the structure, I've created a bond to the carbon from that CN nucleophile. At the top, exactly the same as last time, I have an oxygen now shown with a single bond to the carbon, and the oxygen has a negative charge and a lone pair. This oxygen's lone pair now attacks an H plus ion in the surrounding solution, because remember it's an acidified solution. And this is instead of using a water molecule at this stage, like we saw last time. What this also means is I only have one product at the end. The carbon has still got those two R groups on either side, and it's also got that bond to the carbon with the CN at the bottom. So that's a nitrile functional group. I also have an alcohol group created at the top just here, and in the naming system, we now refer to this as a hydroxy rather than an ol. So this is an example of a hydroxy nitrile. I hope you found this video helpful. I really encourage you to go back through it and take screenshots of anything that you feel you might want to revise from in the future. Please feel free to check out our other videos on the channel, including our new playlists. Until next time, happy revising.